Hey Budgeteers, I am back and I am ready to talk about budgeting again. I'm really excited to jump in and we're going to learn a lot. Now today I want to take a step back from everything we've talked about and I want to talk about Google Sheets. Now I've got a lot of questions about Google Sheets over the last little bit and that's why I want to focus in on this area. I had a few comments on YouTube, I had a few personal emails, I had some contact form submissions, and even a few requests through Facebook about additional information in creating a budget in Google Sheets. If you're just looking for a free budget template that's built in Microsoft Excel, you can go here and download that right now and you can begin in my other videos. But here we're going to take a step back and I'm going to take you to the very basics of Google Sheets. In this one I'm just going to introduce you to how it works and then we're going to walk through and create an entire budget platform right here using the free Google version of Microsoft Excel. It's very similar and you'll dive right in and be able to do this on any computer that can access the internet. So go ahead and let's get going together. If you have an idea for a budget, follow along, but you can change things however you want based on the principles that you learn in this series right here. Without further ado, Google Sheets, let's go. Alright, like I said, we are starting from the very basics of Google Sheets. So if you don't already have a Google account, you will need to create that. If you have Gmail, uh, that is a Google account, so you'll be good to go. If not, you'll need to go to Google and create an account. And I'm not going to show the account creation process. You should be able to figure that out. And then once you have that, what you can do is either go to your URL bar or to a search bar, and you can just search for Sheets. And if you're on Google, Google Sheets will be the first one that comes up. You can see here, Google Docs uh, Spreadsheets is right here. So if you click on that, it will take you over to your spreadsheets. Once you've done that, you just click to create a blank spreadsheet. And you'll notice it sets itself up just like Excel, except for you're in a web browser. So here you can give your spreadsheet a name. So I can call this something like uh, Quincy's Budget. And then down below here, this is just like Excel. You can see I've got little cells going on and I've got all of my functions, numbers. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to create a budget right here in Google Sheets. So just to give a very simple overview of exactly what Google Sheets can do. And for some of you, this may be all you need to create your budget. You can put in anything you want in these cells. So we could say our income, and we could say our expenses, and we could say our remainder. And it's as easy as basically saying, I typically make $4,000. I typically have expenses of $3,800. And what you can do is do equals SUM parenthesis, and then you can select both cells. You can either, you can select the first one, comma, select the second one, and then close your parentheses. And when you hit enter, you'll notice that it does the addition for you. So 4,000 minus the 3,800 or adding the negative 3,800 gives you the remainder of 200. And I can highlight those here and I can push this one to format as currency and it will show it to me in dollar values. So for some of you looking for a very simple budget, this might be it. However, for the rest of us, we're gonna move forward and we are going to continue to build this out until it becomes very similar, probably not exactly the same because there are different functionalities, but very similar to the free budget spreadsheet that I offer in Microsoft Excel. And we'll build this out and then I'll share it with everyone after I'm done. And if you would like to change it in any way, then you can go ahead and make a copy and build it however you want or follow along and you'll be right there as well. So this is the introduction to Google Sheets and we'll go from here. There you have it, super simple. I hope you're not lost. If you are, you may want to wait until I make my pen and paper series. And I kind of chuckle, but I'm serious. I will be making one at some point. Uh, we'll be diving into a binder version where we can have a printout, something that you actually write down. So if this even was too much for you, or if moving into this format is still too hard, we are going to have another version where it may be better set to your skill set. So watch for that. 
But as for this series, keep joining me here. We're going to go through it for the next few weeks and we're going to build this budget spreadsheet out. Thanks for having you here. We'll see you next time, budgeteers. Thank you for watching. I'm extremely glad to have you here. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. For more awesome videos, make sure you are subscribed.